Ready, Zelda? There's more darkness to come because they didn't put windows in this section of the tower. Yee! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Floor 10. And we're getting we're getting close to the end of our doodles for now. But keep on doodling. <laughs> you will not regret doodling, I assure you. Uh, yeah, it goes down a little bit further than I thought. So I'm just gonna run along this edge of the wall here and see how far it takes me. I believe it. I was gonna say I believe it goes pretty far, like almost through the whole room, but maybe not the whole room. Oh, oh, she killed. <laughs> she killed one of the ghosts. The knockdowns. <laughs> That's okay with me. Okay, I'm gonna assume that this goes on. And these are switches. Gotta have someone stand on one switch while you hit another switch. A little bit premature there. There's a door right there. And I'm pretty sure the walls will lead up to said door. I will take that heart, I guess, just because. You flashed it and you got my attention. So now, yeah, obviously you can tell there's... Uh, oh yeah, you can also see part of the wall um, in the dark if you slash your sword at it. That's another way of finding your way around here too if you don't have a light, but you should have a light at this point if, if you have Zelda, obviously. Alright, so now that we know the shape of this room, let's doodle Zelda to go somewhere around here. Oh, well, I, I got her to touch the switch because I got a doo doo on there, so she should walk onto it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and call her back. I don't think there's anything else to see around here. I mean, I guess I, if there are any torches, I could light those. And I don't think there's any torches in this area. It's just all meant to be lit up by Princess Zelda in this particular moment of design. Watch where you step. Illuminate as much as you can to find the answer. Also, draw your way! <laughs> Some sort of hallway vertically. We'll find our way, though. We will absolutely find our way. Let's keep hugging the wall there. Oh, that was a pit! Oh, that's a pit. I will color that in black to indicate doom. Because down is death. Uh, that's an I think that's another pit. <laughs> Alright, so... Should draw a black square over there. Soon, a black square. I just wanted to erase that one line because I can see it. It continues on cleanly over there. Zelda, stun it. Yeah! Zelda, stun it. Yeah! <laughs> now pay attention to these floor tiles here because we're going to need to look at a certain... I mean, we're going to need to doodle a certain pattern. Let's just put it that way. Okay, okay. But first, let's get our... Let's get a little map going on. Uh, drawn in this room here. That square is a little larger than I thought. Just a bit larger though, not that much larger. <laughs> I think there's some treasures and stuff to find over back here. Oh shoot, I forgot to take the princess back to that sign back on the earlier floor. Well, I'll finish this floor off first before I do that. And then I'll, then I'll go do the, the earliest floor of this part of the Tower of Spirits properly with Zelda. Uh, oh! Rats! Rats! Sneaky! Sneaky! I don't want to touch you, but it's too dark to touch you, I, I guess. <laughs> Actually, I think I was just missing where its location was. Link a lock on. Oh no! Oh no! That's the problem! That's the problem! <laughs> yeah, that's why I gotta get those rats. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. We're good. We're good. That was scary. So scary, even scarier than I am. Um, okay, so it looks like we have found the end of that. And how far does this go? All the way over. Oh, that's about where I had my line. And that's delightful. And also delightful is this treasure chest. <laughs> let, let me, let me. Okay. <laughs> Treasures passed down through generation to generation, and then ended up in my hand. Then I'll just end up selling it. <laughs> and call, call, call. All oh, right, there we go. Mm, yeah, that's about right for this, the size of this portion of the room. Good. 
So we got that treasure like a pro, and obviously you wouldn't be able to really see that treasure uh, without the powers of Zelda there, so... Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, remember these marks on the floor? Just just to pay attention to the, the shape of this here. It goes up to about here in a straight line, then goes diagonally down left until about here. And then we go all the way across to there, and that's where it ends. What does that mean, though? What does that mean? Well, just memorize a Z. <laughs> that's that's all you need to know right now, I, I guess. I'm gonna draw a line across here. It's probably a there's an opening somewhere along. Oh, that's a pit. That's not a wall. Oh, that's <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, so then it probably goes like. How far does that wall go? Just for the sake of setting things up here, because it, it will be handy to know. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I don't even need to do this, because the whole area is going to be like illuminated. Uh, you'll see why it's going to be pretty funny. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. But there isn't really all that much more to do here, other than just keep doodling our way through here for the future, in case we need to just come back through here, or you know, just want to help ourselves through here in like different. Ah, there we go. There's the end different portions that we may not have found the first time. Who knows? Who knows? Plus, I can teach you a little bit on how to draw things. <laughs> like, if you need to draw your own map for getting around somewhere in, like, say, Phantom Hourglass's whale, um, whale map thing that you need to draw that, to find your way through there, that's a thing that you gotta do. Uh, well, not necessarily if you know what to do, but, you know, if you're going into a blind, you would need to draw that. <laughs> and you'll know what I'm talking about when the time is right. Alright, so it looks like that that goes around that- Oh shoot, I resized the window! Panic, 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 panic! Okay. <laughs> Always panic when you resize the window, because it's going to mess up the whole, the whole recording setup there. <laughs> I think it's gonna go like that. That was a terrible line angle, but we're okay, we're okay. Kill it up, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Good girl. <laughs> Talking to Zelda as if she's a puppy or something. Uh, yeah, that, I think. Oh! <laughs> Pits. Pits are my nemesis in this area because it's dark. I'm trying to go slow so I don't do that. Like I showed you before, if you go slow up against a pit, you'll uh, you, you won't walk into it. But I was, I was still going too fast there. We're okay though. We're okay. <laughs> so there's a pit over there. There's a pit over in this corner. <laughs> Where are the other pits here? I still need, I still need your light here. That'd be very helpful. That's good. I'm trying to mark with my eyes uh, where the area is here. So it's like, yeah, somewhere around that way. Maybe it's a little bit shallower than that. Yeah, somewhere around there. And actually, this is... I don't think you need that! Because <laughs> I don't believe there was any sort of wall over there. Yeah, you just zipped right through there. Alright, there's our map of the floor. Now, I remember I said to note the letter Z, on, you know, memorize it, so we'll check this door out. Seeker of the key must draw the symbol that sleeps in this room. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba! Yeah! <laughs> All right, wait for me, wait for me! Oh, there's a key, it's super shiny. Oh, it's like shiny, it's electrocuted. What the heck is this thing, battery powered from Hades or what? Well, basically, you can't touch it, but Zelda can. When she does, though, the whole room illuminates with the warning red lights. <laughs> so it's easier to get through here now, but... We now have the Key Masters! And uh, since Zelda's got her hands full with the key, we've got a defender. While she takes the key to the door. We've been found! I'll carry the key! You take care of covering me, Link! And they'll just keep spawning over and over and over infinitely. So try and take a direct route over there. 
Just saying. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. No, no, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> grab it, grab it, grab it. Hurry. Yeah, and whenever you take damage, the whole, uh, the whole top screen goes into sensor mode. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's, uh, that's not good. Die, 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 die. Oh, die, 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 die. Okay, go, go. Up, 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 up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we made it! <laughs> and then they're gonna be like, oh man, we failed in our duties to protect the key. And then they're like, well, maybe the boss, the boss doesn't need to know this. And then they leave. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I forgot to mention, uh, I should I see, I forgot to doodle this out. No, wait, I did doodle it out. It just goes straight down. All right, so this room has now illuminated nicely. So what we're gonna do here, well actually what I should do is properly indicate that there's a door here going down or something like that and then we go through here because what I wanted to do before was uh, go back to the other room with the, um, the other plaque that has something written on it and find out what the poop is on the dupe. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back down through there carefully. And I do mean carefully. There we go. And where is that other set of stairs? Because uh, I didn't mark where that was on the map as well. Uh, okay, so it's like I, I'll just mark it with an arch like I did before. Erase this line so I have some room. Put a down arrow. I, I guess that was that was not very down, but <laughs> it will do. It will do. All right. So now back over here. Now remember, we could not see what this plaque said before because it was too dark and there's no torches next to it or anything like that to be able to read it but if you get Zelda nearby here it'll be like see that wall three steps to the right it's kind of thin <laughs> and so oh actually if you don't have bombs I guess I could show you how to do this if you don't uh, over here there it was yeah I think I, I think I have enough speed to get it up down over there Oh, maybe I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I just threw a bomb over at the wall, so I think it's gonna work. Yeah, that will be just fine. <laughs> and what's behind the secret door? Well, it's a treasure chest that contains an ancient gold piece. Yep, it's a coin. It's got the Triforce symbol on it. Just holding it in your hand seems to take you back to those long lost forgotten days. If you didn't see in the uh, collection screen. So yeah, that, that thing that you seen at Beetle Shop was indeed a little collectible type piece there. It wasn't like a super essential giblet of sorts. <laughs> We're okay though. We are still okay with that if we leave it behind. And we're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of lizard. <laughs> You'll see what I mean by that when we get there. Can I just like sneakily feel my way through this? Like without having to wait for her too long? I think I can actually. Yeah, 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 aha! <laughs> see, as long as you're not pushing too vigorously, you can get through that, but you still need to light those torches at the end because the door won't open anyway, so... Whatever. <laughs> now this room is nicely illuminated, though we still need to wait for Zelda to actually get her booty through here. And... Actually, I should probably indicate that there is a little door here. Well, that's obviously where it is, but... <laughs> I mean, just like for the future. And there we go. That's that's actually a terrible arrow. <laughs> like a really terrible arrow. It's not even... It just looks like a line that's curved into a hook or something. <laughs> it's like I'm going fishing or whatever. Alright, floor 11. Remember I said there's a lizard? Well, the Geozard chief is here and he's gonna spit fire at ya. So use Zelda as your shield. That's how it works. <laughs> It's got a pretty large range. That's how you've got to use Zelda as your shield. Uh, draw a line that goes directly through it, so that it distracts them long enough for you to be able to attack its back, like before. And it's it's much easier to do it in this room than it was in that other one because it has a lot more predictable movement because of these holes in the floor. Just saying there. <laughs> 
so the Geozard cheap, I'd say is actually an easier boss than the original Geozard. I know, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Woo! And there we go. Victory is ours! Woo! That was getting pretty scary. Good thing I was here to help defeat him, right? What if I say, uh... Oh, all you do is swoop in and deliver the final hit. You always get to play the hero, Link! <laughs> I know, I know. I couldn't have defeated it without her. As a matter of fact, uh, the Geozard Chief is immune to your boomerang, so you can't use your boomerang to stun it. Wow, another one. Like you could uh, the regular Geozard, so... Yeah, that's, that's a thing you gotta keep in mind there as well. You definitely absolutely need Zelda for that, but it is funny to say, uh, just for the sake of her dialogue. <laughs> and just to cover a little bit of health, and tell her to wait for me, wait for me! Well, I mean, get her to say, wait for me, wait for me! And that's it! Woo! Floor 12 is the end of the segment. Yeah, a lot of map drawing, a lot of treasure hunting, that was fun. We made it to the real map room! Woo! So yeah, just a review on tips on how to draw. Use your body to mark edges of the room and place dots on it. And then connect those dots in straight lines to get a feel of what the room's layout is like. Step 2, mark pits with dark holes. Step three, question mark, question mark, question mark. Step four, profits. <laughs> you got the ocean real map. Woo! But we don't really get many tracks out of this. Watch this. It's just a straight line. <laughs> That's all we're getting. So we lost spear tracks on here reappearing, and by some they mean just one. That's about as bare bones of some as you could possibly get. This is just getting easier every time, don't you think? Well, should we try for the next real map? Uh, I'm kind of tired. I don't know about you, but I could keep going and going and going. You don't have a body. <laughs> you don't have to say that to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Just kidding, we actually can't go any further than this right now. Well, let's go talk to Anjin. All right, let's do... Woohoo! Yeah. What if I should go grab a couple of rabbits along the rails in the uh, ye old grasslands? Why, why did I go that way? <laughs> I see you've retrieved the third realm map. Now you can go to the ocean realm. The guardian of that realm is a locable named Carbon. Find him and ask him to open the route to the ocean temple. You can reach the ocean realm by way of the forest realm. This one here. Oh, I forgot to erase these lines. Well, <laughs> the river in the southeast divides the two realms, but there is a bridge here. You can use it to cross over to the ocean realm. And we don't even get a chance to talk to her again. <laughs> Alright, so a little, little bit of side questing of Via Rabbits first, I suppose. Before you take a little trek down over there. Shall we? I think so. Um, now first, let's find uh, which way they're going to be going. That, see, it's going to be going straight there. But will it turn left when we get there? I don't know. Maybe. But I really want to get to that corner, so I'm just going to draw up to that point. <laughs> and hope that it doesn't meet me at the pass over here. And also, now that we've been through this corner before, I don't have to mark that as being new, but I will mark this as being new. Wait, did I get that rabbit down there? I don't think I did. Hmm. Well, in any case, I'm going over to the rabbit at this corner or here. Well, it did decide to come this way, but check this out. <laughs> We're faster than it. <laughs> Take that, you monstrosity, you. Take that. This just springs up like some sort of jack-in-the-box and you blast it enough times. All right, so now we're looking for said rabbit. Stay back. Stay back, I say. Stay back. I don't really have to do this at all. Oops. Touched above it. Okay. Uh, there she is. 
Or, oh shoot, that's not... Uh, oh, that'll work, okay. Just as long as I get it, we'll be okay. Uh, oh yeah! Woo! Okay, so now we can go ahead and erase this. And... Okay, that one's going straight, this one's turning. So if I time myself to go and this one's going after it... I'm, I mean, to, go, to take a, uh, a right when this one's going straight and stall this one, I should be okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. And keep shooting behind me. <laughs> also slow down my speed a little bit here. Just to ensure that I don't collide with El Duce over there. <laughs> Alright, looks like we are timing this well. Beautiful, beautiful. Full speed ahead, because we're gonna die if we don't. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> um, so now we're gonna go... Um, let's go up this way first, because that'll take us off the area where the uh, demon trains of death are coming along, so... Die, monstrosity, even though you can't die, just die anyway! <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so since they don't have any sort of uh, uh, pathway through here, they just, they, just like, they just like to go around these six circles, and maybe this one over here at times, for the most part. They kind of leave this one alone for the most part. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you over by the rabbit over here, and I'll also go back to the forest temple really quick for a stamp. Black screen transition! Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, let's see if we can get this bad boy here now. Uh, no. Ooh, you sly dog, you. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Grass rabbit, ho! And also, stamp, ho! <laughs> So I'm going to go run through the, the first floor of the Forest Temple. Um, little fun fact for you, in the European release of the game, this is called the Wooded Temple. People presume that this is due to them trying not to conf you know, get people to confuse Forest Temples and stuff like that, but there's so many Forest Temples in the game, I think, I think that ship has sailed by... <laughs> by this point, you know, across all the games. There are so many forest temples, it is absolutely nutters. Right, let's see if we can clear all these at once. Voila! Stamp station. Oh, it's flickering over there. Yes, I would like to. What does the stamp look like? That's what the stamp looks like. Voila! Alright, another one for the books. Let's get out of here and over by the next rabbit. It's gonna get through- well, not with all the little scratch damage. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 actually? Yeah, that's right, the pots at the beginning always seem to have hearts. Whoa, 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 gold skulltula! Actual gold skulltula! <laughs> actually, no, they're uh, red skulltulas. It's kind of hard to tell that, but they got a little red marking on their back. But they've also got a gold butt on them. They take two hits destroyed with your cannon, and they don't I don't I believe they don't get spooked all that well by your whistle either, so yeah, that, but since they stand in just one spot, you should be okay in just shooting them twice really quick. I should try uh, using my horn on them uh, a little bit later on just to confirm my suspicions on that. But anyway, I'm back over here at the Forest Sanctuary because if you remember. There was a stamp station over here as well. So let's get that sucker stamped. Uh-huh. Yeah, I told you I would be back over here when we are when we we're going back through places. I told you. You didn't believe me though, did ya? Oh. But you will regret that decision as soon as you see this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nah, you knew I was gonna go ahead and 100% this sucker, plus no one that I know of as of this date thought that I wouldn't go back to the other locations. Um, so now, I guess I'll just doodle my way down through here, and get that other rabbit. Okay, let's try it. Yep, it's immune. <laughs> Just as I thought. I just had to experiment with that once just to confirm it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. 
Mm, I got it. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, now that we got those two off our lists, we can scribble those out of there. Well, not necessarily scribble them out of there. Uh, and uh, I think, just to make it easier to turn my train around, I'm going to go go ahead and dock over at Aboda Village and then pretty much immediately leave. <laughs> but well, but well, that's, that, that's just how things are rolling, I guess. Yeah, shoot his house! Shoot his house! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, that's ineffective. His house is bulletproof. <laughs> Uh, based on the time of the part, though, I think I'm gonna end it off here. Oh, oh, actually, hold on a sec. So, how's it going? Does it look like you'll be able to save the princess? Maybe, I don't know. Don't say that, Link! What, she's here now? Is everything alright? be honest, I'm finding it a little hard to believe you. <laughs> Guess I just want to see her smiling face again soon. Thank you, Alfonso! You've warmed my heart! You know, if it wasn't always... A, you know, it wasn't always a picnic. Sometimes she'd get awfully riled up. Oh! What did he say?! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I... Well, maybe I... Eh, yeah, I'll probably just end up going over to the ocean realm rather than the, the castle at first. Because, well, because, well, the castle is closer to the spirit... I mean, the Tower of Spirits anyway. And I, I don't really feel like doing the little minigame giblet that's going on over at the training area. Uh, it's, like, just around that, because I was more focused on rabbits than anything here. 